So at the very least, we'd like to know if the query ran. So we can do if result. So if there's a value to result, can I go out something? Save that. Upload it. Take a look in the browser. And we'll make a links page. And position V6. Status 1. in the form. There you go. We added a new navigation link. Let's go ahead and make sure that ran correctly. And there you go. Now you'll notice our position is still 1, even though I put in 6. And that is because we never added the position column up here into our insert query. So let's go ahead and do that. to make sure we add the position here. And that one is a number two, so we don't need the quotes. So now let's take a look at what happens when we don't submit this correctly. So go ahead and save and upload. And load the page again. test page and for position I'm going to put in something that's not a number so we'll do top status 1 and we'll go ahead and click submit an error has occurred and the reason that worked or worked for our error handling is because we did not put this in quotes, so unless it's a number being sent there, this is not going to run correctly. So that works, but we could use a little more help. So we can first go ahead and in the else clause, we'll go ahead and run another MySQL function, which is MySQLI underscore error. And this takes the database connection as a parameter. So I'll go ahead and save and upload this. And what this is going to do is output any error that MySQL sends back. And underneath the error message, we're going to go ahead and echo out our query. So if the query fails, we want to go ahead and take a look at that query to see what might have gone wrong. And we'll go ahead and we can concatenate this into some paragraph tag to give it a little formatting. Go ahead and save and upload. Put in that test data again. Submit. And there you go. So this helps us out. If, if MySQL doesn't have a particular error message to send us, this gives us a hand. And even when it does have an error message, this helps too. So once you get used to this, you get kind of a trained eye to know what to look for here. And immediately I notice that 
here's a word or a string that isn't inside of quotes. So I know right away this is where I messed up. So you might look for other things. Maybe you forgot a parenthesis here, um, or maybe you forgot the comma here. You know. So this just gives you a little extra helping hand. So really quick before we move on, let's go ahead and we'll try and break this so that we can get a MySQL error. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this status column out of here so that the column count does not match the value count over here. And save and upload. And I actually realized what we did wrong here. We need to actually add the echo statement here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this message here in a paragraph tag. And we'll save and upload. We'll run the form. Submit. There you go. So here's the MySQL error. Column count does not match value count at row one. Now, the first part of this is helpful, but at row one, eh, not really quite sure where to take that information. So that's where this query being outputted really helps out. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some simple validation techniques. Um, before that, we're going to go ahead and put the status column back in. And we're going to save. And save a copy. And we need to come in and change our values. 